and then for IT specifically, I used I exam B and Geek for Geeks and sources like that. Back in college, I used to do lead code and problem solving a lot. So due to that, I was like very handy. I just had to uh, revise all those concepts, and I was like in that also. I exam B was very helpful because then I took the course, and they have these mock papers. So I was giving those mock papers. Hello everyone, welcome to I exam B. Today we have Aditya with us. He has recently cleared SEBI IT exam. Now he is an IT officer. He'll be joining soon. So Aditya, congratulations from the entire I exam B team. How are you feeling, Aditya? Thank you, ma'am. Uh, I'm feeling great, and it has been a lifelong dream of mine to join government services. So I'm very happy as of now. So how long have you been preparing for various government exams? It's been around 1.6 years since I graduated in 23. So okay. yeah. So you did not take up any job? No, I was working for last one and a half years. Okay, and uh, you did B.Tech in C.S.I.T. or in other streams? Yeah, I did B.Tech in I.T. Okay, and where have you been working? I work for Institutional Shareholder Services. It's a, a firm in Mumbai only as okay. a software engineer. Okay. And uh, uh, how did you come to know about SEBI or which all exams have you been giving so far? So like my dad is in RBI. So I was inclined towards government services. So I have given uh, most of the exams like NABAD and SEBI, RBI, etc. So, yeah. So you were giving general exams as well as IT exams? Yeah, yeah, like mostly if there was option of IT, then I was giving IT, else I was giving gen. Okay. But so I was you... always uh, like, keep, uh, I kept giving exams like just for the sake of practice so that I can be in the flow of uh, like clearing these exams, aptitude and all that. Okay. So when you appeared for SEBI IT, did you fill the form for both general and IT? No, for uh, SEBI, I filled just for the IT. Okay, okay. And uh, uh, then how did you start your preparation for uh, IT exams? So, you know, in SEBI IT, there are two phases. Both the phases have two papers. So, how did you prepare for those exams and what all sources did you use? Yeah, so initially, like, I saw the paper pattern and how the exams are going to be conducted. So, there is uh, every, every paper, has, paper has aptitude section and then IT specific. So IT, I was already, you know, aptitude I was already good with because I was giving CAT and all those exams. Like every exam has this English, maths and reasoning. Mm -hmm. And then for IT specifically, I used I exam B and Geek for Geeks and sources like that because it's just core uh, software uh, principles, right? Like uh, C, uh, like DBMS, computer networks, etc. So I went through those topics and uh, with the help of that, I was able to clear the first phase. After that, the second phase is coding. So Back in college, I used to do lead code and problem solving a lot. So due to that, I was like very handy. I just had to uh, revise all those concepts. And I was like in that also, I exam B was very helpful because then I took the course and they have these mock papers. So I was giving those mock papers as well as like the mo uh, most challenging part for me was the English descriptive because like that is something that we don't prepare every now and then. So there, I think like uh, the mock and the sessions that were conducted were very helpful. Okay, so uh, what all preparation did you do for your descriptive English? So like initially, I just uh, gave mocks. Like I used to listen to the uh, recorded sessions. Like I was not able to join live sessions, but I was listening to the recordings. And there I used to take the key points and takeaways, like the insights, how to write a descriptive, how to write a prece, and how to attempt the paper because the time is limited. And we have to make sure that we complete the whole paper. So initially, while giving the mocks, I was not able to complete the whole paper. Then like I got the idea, okay, I have to do it like this. I have to assign this much time to each section. And by the time, like three, four mocks, I was able to complete the whole paper, uh, paper with the given word. Okay, so that uh, the mock test helped you practice and understand that how much time you should be devoting to each question. And also how to attempt it, like what kind of content I should write in those answers so that like it, it is uh, like valuable. So yeah. Right, right. And what about your interview preparation? How did you uh, prepare for the interview and how was your mock interview? Yeah, so like for interview also, like because I took the uh, SEBI package for my exam, then uh, they had this interview sessions conducted where the Sanjeev sir was there and he was giving all the information about like how interviews are supposed to be and how to prepare yourself for those interviews because as well as it's a test of knowledge as well as test of personality, right? So like it's a lot about knowing yourself as well as knowing the organization and how you are going to contribute in that organization. So like for preparation of interview, it was mostly knowing about myself because the technical part I was very comfortable with already. 
so i was just trying to understand like how am i going to answer like being com- confident and like being in the flow state so like i prepared and the mock interview was very helpful because like it uh, gave me an idea of what to expect and what to do when i don't know the answers and all that okay and how was your actual interview actual interview was good like uh, because i gave mock few days before the actual interview i went there and actual interview started on a good note and initially they asked me like you are a working candidate and most of the people who give the, give these exams have taken a career break or so why didn't you go that path so i told them that uh, like i work in it and i think my work experience will be valuable and i was able to manage time like how i did the time management and everything and they were impressed with that okay and then it started on a good note and the rest of it was technical questions okay so aditya uh, your mock interview was quite interesting because you were comfortable in the beginning uh, can you share a little bit how what kind of questions were asked from you so that other aspirants can know about them yeah so, sure so as it was a it position most of the questions were directed in that direction initially i had one two questions about hr like why what your organization do and how because i work for, in a uh, investment firm right so they uh, asked me like how they work under sebi right what kind of regulations and all that but after that it was all technical and i guess they want you they ask question based on your own background like i work as a full stack developer so all questions they can ask me from db and networking and security whatever so they try, I, i even ask other candidates they try to ask question based on your profile but if you are like not working and if you are on a career break then they can ask you general uh, generic it questions so like questions were mostly directed about software engineering like what tech stack you use and then there are some db question and security is a big field like it's uh, so they asked me about uh, like different kind of uh, security related questions like what kind of attacks are there and e- even in the beginning the first question they asked is like how you are an it engineer how will you use your skills in it so you should i also prepared this okay like there are so many things that are happening in it right as ai is on the boom and even government want to up their game in this so even i have prepared a few solutions and i think that you have to be very thorough with your profile and you need to know that what you are going to do in that college so But i guess and yes yes continue so yeah like uh, basic uh, you need to be very thorough with the fundamentals because they are going to be everywhere in all interview but other than that you should be confident in your own profile what work you have done or what work you have built, like you are uh, you want to do for the same right right how you will be able to contribute So Aditya, uh, since your father is in RBI, did you also face some questions related to RBI or your father's profile? Luckily, I didn't, but I prepared well for that as well. Okay, okay, okay. So, how did you manage this time along with your job to prepare? So, so like I did the time allotment, and I used to commute because I live in Chimur and I go to Goregaon. So every day I had like two hours spare in the train. So I used to watch the videos or like study on my phone instead of just scrolling. So. that was one of the big deal because every day it adds up like if you just study two hours in while commuting it adds up to a lot so yeah and how about your practice so after coming from your job you used to practice what about yeah, you practice? yeah like mostly it was coding so i used to do lead code like in my laptop i just used to see the it's like i already used to think about those questions you just read the question and you can think what strategy to use to solve those coding question and coding is the easy part right like you just have to write it down but thinking part was can be done anywhere so i used to have a notebook and just write down the solutions and think about those solutions how to optimize them. okay and uh, can you tell me if a student now starts the preparation and he does not know anything about coding you have a coding background but mm-hmm. even btech civil or mechanical are also eligible for this exam if they want to go for this exam want to start coding practice how they can go for it so initially they have to get thorough with one coding language they need to understand how a language works and after that it's all problem solving they can start with something very simple like how to sort an array and how to select min max something like that once they get the knack of it how the problems are framed and how you start write, uh, writing writing the solutions and then there is things like time complexity and space complexity it's all practice i think once you know a language the basics of a language what array is some data structure basics then i guess it's all problem solving it's like maths the more you do it the more you understand okay okay so uh, according to you according to your understanding how much time will an ideal student who does not know coding will take to understand coding uh if they don't know anything then it might take some time but if 
uh, almost all the people can learn the basics of any one language they can select some easy language like python and they can be good at it in within 3 months and that includes the basic data structures that that language includes okay okay and so after so... that it's all practice like the the more the better right 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 so if anyone is preparing for sebi it exam uh, they can start their preparation early give 3 4 months advance and then go for practice and there are high chances for them to clear the exam yes like they will be well you know position that they can expect that they yeah, are they can easily tackle the paper right right so other than during your preparation even you were appearing for i think rbi grade b and other general exams as well yeah. so during your preparation were there some things in your strategy you felt you could have avoided or something you could have included uh, i just want to understand uh, i just want you to guide the students about certain do's and don'ts during their preparation so like first of all there is this thing called people get nervous in the exam center but i was feeling so many exams like every other weekend i used to go to the exam center i was so familiar with the environment so that, that there was no such thing as exam pressure so i think if we have prepared well we have confidence on our own skills then i think we should not stress out at the time of the examination because the margins are so thin in these government examination that even one mistake can cost you one more year right so for me the thing was not to stress be very confident in my own skill and practice and second is people say only 10 seats only 5 seats for these examinations but how i look at it is all i need is one seat it doesn't matter how many vacancies there are and who my competitors are i just need one seat for my own self so if i have confidence on my skills and i'm giving my best then i am very like i don't think i should worry about anything else and i can say this to all the aspirants that if you have prepared well it doesn't matter how hard or easy the examination is you should just be confident on your own skills right so this is very good advice aditya because i get a lot of queries from students when there are only two vacancies one vacancy there will be so high competition but you should at least try and if you give the exam you'll get the practice of it even if you could not clear the next exam is there for you right. and you know there are so many options right if not this then something else like while giving this examination september I had nabard pre and the next day i had sebi uh, descriptive so both days i went to the same center and and i knew okay this is going on and then something else is well uh, sebi interview nabard mains was there so i was preparing for interview as well as for the mains and then even uh, on 27th i had this uh, sebi interview on 24th i had cat but i was like very chill because i know i have uh, these skills and i can do well and i prepared i got 99 in cat as well and i cleared sebi so yeah like you can do it all it's not that difficult you just have to be confident and you just keep on preparing keep on giving exams and don't worry too much about any of it right so now that you have got 99 in cat i'm curious why are you not going for mba then no no sebi is a life long dream even last year i got 99 in cat so no this was okay. something i wanted far i want far more than an mba okay 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 Okay, Aditya. So that will be all from my end. Anything else you would like to share or guide the aspirants about? Yeah, I'll just say that uh, keep the dream alive. All the aspirants, I just want to say that keep on working hard, and one day you will also get your dreams come true. That's that's great advice, Aditya. Aditya, thank you so much for taking out your time once again. Congratulations from the entire team, and uh, wish you all the best for your future. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.